Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Knocked Conscious. I'm Mark. How are you doing today? I've got a short one, but it's a pretty cool one. So, Knocked Conscious talks about how we can be better, how we can better ourselves and be better people. And one of those things is like uh, recycling, reusing, repurposing. I came across an interesting article. I know a lot of people are tea drinkers out there. Um, I found an interesting article about 12 ways to reuse your tea bags after you've used them to make tea. So I'd like to share those with you. Um, So it should be pretty brief, but uh, I thought it was a pretty cool article because a lot of people are tea drinkers out there. So the first one is add a hint of flavor to rice or grains. So you can hang your uh, used tea bags in boiling water to infuse your food with a touch of flavor. So you could do jasmine tea with rice or like a chai tea with oatmeal. That's a pretty good one. Uh, second one is protect your house plants from fungal disease. By rebrewing a used tea bag and using the weak tea, but it has to be cooled, water to, your, to, uh, to water your plants. So put a, uh, a little tea bag in your water to water your plants, and that helps uh, with fungal disease. You can also neutralize odors naturally. Spread dried tea leaves in stinky spots like cat liver, cat litter box or bottom of your garbage bags. So you can, uh, it sounds like it absorbs some odors as well. Another thing you could do, you can make cleaning the fireplace safer and easier. I don't know how many fireplaces are out there anymore, but I'm sure there aren't a lot of places. Arizona doesn't have many or we go gas. But you can dump the damp contents of tea bags onto the ash to weigh it down before sweeping out the fireplace. I know people put a little water or spray a little water on ash as well to kind of weigh it down or get it kind of so it's not uh, dusty ash. Uh, You can degrease pots and pans. You can soak hard-to-clean dishes in water with a used tea bag tossed in. The tea will help loosen stuck-on food and break up grease. I had no idea. Tea and grease. You can add them to your bath. You can add tea bags to your bath. The antioxidants in tea are good for your skin. And the gentle scent will add some aromatherapy to your soak. Ah, so nice. Um, You can take the sting out of insect bites and burns. So you take the sting out of insect bites and burns. And sunburns, actually. Uh, Using a cool compress will reduce pain and inflammation of the affected areas. So you just uh, take it. I guess cool and wet and push it on the spot and it helps soothe that. You can also make a hair rinse. Remove product buildup without using another product. Soak three to four used tea bags in warm water and pour it over your head after shampooing and conditioning as usual. Don't rinse. Pro tip, chamomile brightens blondes and black tea adds a coppery shimmer to brunettes. According to Housewife how to's. So check that place out. Maybe that uh, website housewife how to's has some cool ideas as well. I think you can also deodorize carpets with used tea bags. Um, deodorize carpets by scattering the dried contents of several tea bags over your rugs before you vacuum. So it sounds like it's a pretty cool, uh, antifungal deodorizer kind of thing. Uh, the tea bag, the tea, I guess the tea leaves or the ground tea are, um, you can depuff tired eyes. I need that one because my eyes are puffy, puffy eyes. You can place cool tea bags over your eyes, cucumber style. According to Chasing Green, the tannins in the tea leaves may reduce bags and dark circles. So maybe you can get a cucumber tea and then it'll cover both the cucumber and the tea. And then you don't have to do a two-step eye depuffing process. That'd probably be a good way to go with that. So um, the 11th thing of the 12 that you can do, the penultimate thing you can do with used tea bags is you can clean leather shoes by buffing with a damp tea bag. I'm going to have to try that because I've got a pair of actual shoes that have leather on them that I wear every once in a while, very rarely, but I do. Last but not least, this is the one that I like because I cut a lot of onions, so and I eat a lot of garlic. 
Um, but you can wash your stinky hands using a tea bag as you would a bar of soap to help eradicate garlic, onion, or fish odors. And those are three things I really like. So, well, here's a little list, 12 things you can uh, use or 12 things you can do with your used tea bags so you can repurpose them. Saving the planet, you know, going green and all. Well, this has been another episode of Not Conscious. It's a short one. Um, I plan to have a couple long ones coming upcoming with some pretty awesome things, but I don't want to spoil it. So um, I do want to thank everyone for listening again. Uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, follow, rate, review. Love to hear from you. Love some feedback. If you have any stories I can share, please feel free to email me, info at knockedconscious.com. Uh, nah, Twitter is not at knockedcon. And uh, I think my Insta is the same as well. So thanks again for listening, everybody. This has been 12 things to use or 12 things you can do with your used T-Packs. Thanks again. Take care, everybody.